the Sephora savings event is upon us. This is a biannual sale that Sephora does and it's happening now for Rouge members. Depending on what tier you are at Sephora, you can either save 20% off, 15% off, or 10% off during the sale. And so I wanted to put together an ultimate Sephora sale guide. So use the chapters down below to get where you want because I have a feeling this video is gonna be freaking long. I wanted to cover my staple products, things that I've repurchased a million times. And I'm sorry if you get a little bored because you've probably heard about these things on my channel. I wanted to talk about some products that are new and now trendy things that maybe you want to spice it up. You want to have something a little bit fun, something new. I think these would be some good items. Of course, I have to let you know what I think you should skip. Like do not waste your money on this stuff during the sale. I wanted to put a category in here for sets and also gifts, whether you're gifting to yourself or gifting to other people. These are things that I think would be great options. And I'm also going to share with you a wish list. So tons of items here. Before we get into it, I do want to thank Magic Links. They provided all the links down below, which are affiliate link. So if you decide to shop this sale and you use my links, thank you so much. I do earn a commission and I appreciate it. It helps to support me and the channel, but obviously no pressure. And yeah, let's just get into it. I want to start off with staples because these are the products that I recommend to friends. These are the products I know back and forth. I've used these things up probably a couple times each and I really just strongly, strongly suggest them. I strongly believe in them. <laughs> like they are, if I didn't, you know, have a million products and wasn't testing things all the time, these are truly, truly staples. It goes without saying, you guys know I love my Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This is a facial spray and this has like an herbal kind of minty refreshing smell and feel on the skin. I love this as a pick me up throughout the day. I love this after my morning showers, before I do my skincare. That's how I use it probably most. My husband loves this product. Like, you know, when they're like, hey, where's the Caudalie spray? Like, it's a good product. It's such a refreshing spa-like moment. I absolutely love it. You can also use this throughout the day to refresh your makeup, refresh your skin, add a little moisture. It's expensive, but I highly, highly recommend it. And it's a product that I continue to go through. And that really means something for me, especially again, I have a lot of products. So for me to be at the point where I use a product up and I'm in need of repurchasing it and actually want to like miss it in my routine, it means a lot. It also has such a nice mist. Look at this mist. Mmm, luxury. Absolutely love this product. Highly, highly recommend. A sunscreen I've really come to love this last year and this summer. This is from Supergoop, the glow screen. This is the tinted one and I get it in, I think it's Sunrise. If only I could tell you. Okay, I literally don't see it on here, but I'm pretty sure it's sunrise. This is tinted. They do have other sunscreens and this also has a glow to it. I find this gives my skin such a healthy, radiant look, especially when I don't want to put foundation on, but I do want to look a little more put together and maybe I'm going to be doing some more like outdoor activities, but I just want that tiny bit of something. This covers some of the redness in my skin, adds again that healthy shine and it just looks so good. It almost looks like my skin's a little tone on my face. You know what I mean? Like how a tan can kind of do. So absolutely love Love this. Um, I do find that throughout the day it can get a little oily on me. I do have oily skin, but I don't find it to be an issue. And even sometimes, like let's say I put this on in the morning and I want to like then do my makeup a little bit later, adding a little concealer, I can make this work and finesse it so that I don't have to like restart over my base. It is quite glowy though, but again, I don't find that it's emphasizing my skin in a bad way. I feel like it's a healthy glow. I feel like it looks just so radiant. I will be talking about some glowy products I do not suggest. So this doesn't fall into that category. This looks so healthy and great on me. And I love that it has that sun coverage because sunscreens are kind of hard for me to use. I don't always love the texture. I don't always like the smell. I don't like the feel on my skin, but this one totally works for me. And if you don't want a tinted version of that or something glowy, the unseen sunscreen is also really, really nice. It almost has more of like a primary type feel and that might be a good option also. If you're looking to pick up a mascara, one of my favorite mascaras in most recent times has been the Tower 20 make waves. I know this is raved about very, very viral online and uh, I do like it. I will say with mascaras, I don't know if this happens with you guys, but it's like my lashes just get like bored of the same mascara. So sometimes I like to have a little break, but since I've been revisiting this mascara, love it. It freaking looks so good. Today I'm actually wearing the brown shade. They just came out with this. I'm not sure if it's on the Sephora website, but it's in the shade Drift. I did a little short about it if you want to check that out, but it is what I'm wearing today. This is 
is still a pretty dark and saturated brown so it still adds a lot of definition it is a very slight very subtle difference between the black but I love this mascara because it's easy to use one it just like gets on my lashes fast and that's something I'm looking for in a mascara I don't want to sit there and put on seven coats I really can't stand that to be honest like I'm just so bored by the time I'm doing my lashes but I still want them to look good this offers the right amount of volume and I feel like length it also gives me some nice PC separation so I really love this it's the one I suggest to people I also feel like the wand is really easy to use I feel like all the hype around this mascara is real so I would check it out if you're looking for a mascara this is one I do suggest and I've used multiple multiple tubes of all right going back to a skincare item these dew drops from glow recipe another very viral very like loved product and for really good reason my skin loves these okay like for skincare this is just such a perfect serum if I'm looking to go heavier then I'll put something else on top of this but sometimes I'll just use this again I have oily skin and if I don't want a ton of product on my face especially in hotter months or when my skin's in really great condition I'm not needing that extra moisture these look so good and what I love about them is they give you the dew they give you this kind of shiny effect to your skin but it's not tacky it's not actually dewy it's not a Vaseline it doesn't give you that kind of sweaty wet look it's just again a really healthy glow uh, this has niacinamide in it and I really do find when I'm using this consistently with my skin it just overall looks more even it even looks a little bit more smooth and again just nice and hydrated I never get any pilling with this product it really is just one of my perfect perfect products so I'm always looking more than anything with my skincare for moisture even though I'm oily I just know my skin does so well when it feels plump it feels like satiated you know what I mean so um, I, I really highly suggest these I will repurchase these for as long as they work for me and it's already been years I feel like at this point since it came out it's been something that when I don't have this product I am sad <laughs> when I use it the last drops of this I am crying tears so I do like to even buy this in the jumbo size just because it just lasts me longer and I know I love the product that much that the jumbo size and saving on the amount of product for the price it's worth it so highly suggest all right I want to mention a cream blush these have been around for a little bit but I'm just late to the game okay everyone told me these were amazing Amazing, and I don't know why I just didn't try them from Rose Ink. These cream blushes are amazing. I have four shades here today. I'm wearing what am I wearing? Day Lily, and I feel like it's such a beautiful neutral color. I also did top it with a powder blush. That's what I tend to do. I do like a cream, and then usually add a pop of something at the end just to bring that blush back because I like a blushy look. But Day Lily is a beautiful color on me. It doesn't pull too warm, but it's also not too cool. It's a really nice neutral looking blush on my skin. Heliotrope is a little bit lighter in color for me if I want something a little bit more low-key. Delphine's a beautiful orangey warm look and then if I want that pop of like youth and something a little bit more of a cooler pink, not exactly that baby pink that's so viral but I do really also love Ophelia. This really is just such a beautiful blush. I was wearing this so much during the spring and summer because it adds just this beautiful amount of like life and youth and I don't know freshness to my cheeks so really love this the cream formula in here it's nice and thick without being goopy so I feel like I can really get a brush in here and you know coat it and it applies so well it doesn't apply patchy it's an even application which I really appreciate I love using like a dense angled brush this one is from BK Beauty but I love how this applies the product it just looks amazing I mean I use this brush for every cream blush but it works really nicely with these as well and I feel like they last a nice amount of time on me so really love these cream blushes highly suggest I mean, I highly suggest all this stuff. That's why it's in my staples category. Okay, now we're gonna get into something you've heard me rave about. So if you haven't tried this yet, and maybe you've been thinking about it, maybe this is the time for you to try it. From Way, this is my favorite body scrub. It is so good. Not only in smell, this is the St. Bart's one, which is the one I suggest. The original smells good as well. It's their Melrose Place scent, which is a little bit more floral, a little bit rose, but still really classy. It's really nice. But I'm a St. Bart's girl, and I love how this smells like a 
a tropical vacation, but nothing too fruity, nothing too cheap. It's really elevated, really, again, classy, and just feels luxurious, not only, again, in smell, but actual texture. The feeling of this product is absolutely amazing. It scrubs. It has almost like a, a flaky texture of the actual, like, scrubbing particles, which is amazing. This goes on, and it kind of suds up, so you can kind of use it to wash your body, too, if you want to. But what I really love is that after you've scrubbed yourself down, when this rinses off, off, it leaves your body moisturized and kind of conditioned in a way without feeling oily but you are smooth and you feel hydrated so I think that's just such a, an amazing finish almost of this product after it leaves your skin I can get down with a more oily or like moisturizing scrub nowadays but I used to hate that and this is that perfect medium it doesn't leave nothing on your skin but it is not oily it does not feel like you have lotion or again oils or a thick layer of something on it just literally leaves you so smooth so supple so amazing so highly suggest this it's a pricey product so to be able to get it on this sale i think it's a great opportunity to potentially try this out and treat yourself or treat someone else that would be also a great gift i've definitely gifted that myself speaking of scrubs this is another one i know you've heard me talk about so this is from fresh it's the sugar strawberry exfoliating face wash this is a brand new one which i believe i bought during the last sale the reason i haven't even busted into this is because i was trying that fenty one i'll leave it up here i just finished that one up so this is about to go into my shower I like it as a shower face scrub but you can use it anytime you're gonna scrub your face I love that this is a physical exfoliant I do like that kind of tactile experience of physically exfoliating my face but this is still really gentle so it's not going to be too abrasive and the crystals that are in here as you use it they kind of melt away and I love the smell of this it's like a very natural sweet smell again my skin just feels nice and exfoliated but not sensitized from that exfoliation and I do have more sensitive skin. I have a lot of redness. So um, I really, really love this. Highly, highly suggest. All right, number eight for my staple product recommendations. I love this eyeliner pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the classic eye powder pencil. I have it in shimmering bronze. There are two other colors, I believe, but I do like a little shimmer to my eyeliner. So this is the one I suggest. What I love about this specific eyeliner pencil formula is that it is powdery. So um, you kind of get the effect of shadow like a powdered shadow but in the convenience of an eyeliner pencil which I love so many eyeliners can be really creamy and really dark and leave a heavy line which if that's what you want that's what you're looking for I think that can be great especially if you don't want something that's gonna tug this doesn't necessarily tug but what I like about it is that kind of powdery finish that it leaves I can get a nice soft definition around my eye with this product and I don't even have to blend it out I don't have to bring other brushes in I think that just looks so beautiful beautiful and a lot of the times I'm looking for a little bit less harsh definition when it comes to things around my eyes even around my lips just in general I feel like I like a more diffused look and this pencil works so great for that so if you're looking for that kind of look if that sounds like something you would enjoy I really think you should try this pencil out I feel like it's hidden within Charlotte Tilbury's line and that you know not a lot of people are necessarily talking about this and I feel like in general a lot of people want that kind of urban decay slide on glide on liner which I do love those as well in certain colors. They can be so amazing. Mushroom's one of my favorites, but I really love this kind of powdered eyeliner pencil. I think it's so nice. And it's not like stiff where it's poking you. It's not like dried out. It's meant to just have that kind of soft diffused powdery look, which again, I love. This is my second one of this one, which I find pretty impressive. All right, last two things are for lips. I have to mention the artist lip pencils. Well, they're kind of just all over pencils. I have been loving Wherever Walnut since like 2019, I wanna say. I got it as a sample then and ever since. I think this is what kind of convinced me lip liner is a thing. It's a moment and it's worth it. So um, this is like my second one I want to say, but there are so many more. I was very lucky to be gifted so many from uh, Makeup Forever. So they have tons of different colors, whether you're going to get wherever walnut, there's like anywhere caffeine, there's versatile chestnut. They really have a nice range and these pencils, it's really about the formula for me that I like. You can use them anywhere you want. You can use them on the eyes. You can use them on the face you can use them on the lips but I love them the most for the lips I love a pencil lip liner because I find that they just 
look nicer. They tend to have um, not as creamy of formulas. Again, I want a little bit of time to play. And when I'm doing my lips for every day, again, for specific looks, different lip liners, different products come into play. But for every day for me, I want something that is going to accentuate my lip line and make it look a little bit fuller and fill it in. But I don't want too harsh of a line. I don't want too much product gooping on. And these just have longevity without being too long wearing where it looks weird or kind of you know, cakes on in a weird way. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I don't like that. And these pencils to me are just so perfect for lip liners. So highly, highly suggest. Again, I think these have gone pretty viral. My favorite color is Wearable Walnut, but again, they have tons of different ones, whichever will suit you best, whatever lip look you like. I really, really do suggest them. They also have a set right now. If you don't know what lip color you are, it comes with a white and black. So those might not be the most useful to you, but it also comes with a few that are very popular for lip liners. So. Um, um, I'll leave that down below too in case that is more your style. It's $35 and it could be a good option if you just don't know exactly what's going to be your right fit to test out the liner in different colors and all of that. I thought that was a pretty good set from Sephora. And last one of my favorite glosses. This is the Patrick Ta Major Glow <laughs> Lip Shine. What is this called? It's in the shade She's Expensive. It is such a beautiful, basically translucent, but sparkly lip gloss. I love it so much. I haven't repurchased this one, but I have considered considered it and I might get another one in the sale because that's how much I've used this like it's getting on its last legs here might be time to re-up get a fresh one I love this on top of wherever walnut that is how I'm wearing it on my lips right now and I think it just looks amazing it's my go-to lip look when I don't know what to wear I want something plump and juicy looking and I want it neutral it's gonna match anything I'm gonna wear this is the one I go to it is just beautiful I love that this sparkles in here add some shine add some dimension you can't feel them though which I love I don't like when I can feel all the little sparkles that is a no-go for me it does have a little bit of like a minty plumping effect it's not painful at all but if you are sensitive to mint or don't like mint in your products it's not overly done but I do want to warn you about that just in case that's not for you but I absolutely freaking love this and again I want to repurchase it so love this product those are my staples I absolutely love them I stand behind those products I've used them so much I gift them I recommend them all the time and you're probably tired of hearing about them by now. So let's talk about some fresh, fun, new items. Most of these have come out this year and I really, really do like this stuff. So it might be something to take a look at if you've already tried these staples or again, you want something kind of fresh, new on the market. For eyeshadows, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta go with the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. I have been obsessed with this since it came out. It is so good. I am wearing pieces of this today. I'm wearing kind of a bunch of different things, but I just love this. If I don't know what to wear or I'm trying to go for a more simple look, which I just feel like I have been gravitating to a lot lately, this palette has it all. Okay, I can go a little more smoky. I can go a little bit more every day or really light with my look if I want to. You're not getting tons of variety in here. It's kind of what you see is what you get, but there's fun textures, there's some sparkly shades, some sheer shades, some kind of satiny shades, all in this kind of neutral, taupey kind of color. So sometimes they lean a little bit cooler, sometimes they lean a little bit warmer on me. It just depends on what I'm wearing, what I'm doing, and what shades I'm using, but they're all kind of in that family, and I find those colors so flattering on my skin. This is such a great everyday palette for me, and if you're looking for that type of palette, if you think these colors would work for you, they're tones that you enjoy, I really do think you're gonna like it the formula is so nice I love the mattes that are in here even it's just freaking beautiful and I find I'm reaching for it all the time and I really love the dark shade too it helps me get my wings so it's really like an all-in-one palette I can bring this and know okay I have looks I can do <laughs> kind of the same look but still the looks I want to do all in one palette and I don't have to bring anything else I don't have to worry about that so highly suggest this I do have a code with Natasha Denona so depending on what you get with the Sephora sale that saves you 15% off so so keep that in mind just if you're gonna go for this I obviously want you to save the most money possible so if you're rouge that's gonna definitely be at Sephora but I just wanted to point that out so you save the most money I should mention the makeup by Mario palette too because I know that one since it came back is pretty big so let me grab it this is the ethereal palette from makeup by Mario this came out last holiday season and then it sold out really fast they brought it back this year so it might be a good time if you want to save some money on this palette to get it now these palettes are very similar in tones and in color out of the two, I do 
prefer the Natasha Denona. I feel like the mattes in here are beautiful. They blend amazing, but I do find that they get a little muddy and I don't have that same issue with these, but they're still really blendable. These are more powdered and again, a great formula if you're doing very simple looks. There also are those sparkly topper shadows in here. So they're pretty similar. Again, I do suggest overall, or I personally prefer the Natasha Denona, but I do want to point this out. If this was one you were looking at, or you know, you've heard great things about, you've been waiting for it to come back. They're both at a similar price point. <laughs> Again, they're both very similar in color. I have some other videos where I really swatch through. I have one just on the Natasha Denona palette. If you really want to go deep into this and some like similar shades, as well as a video talking about palettes that have similar vibes to the Natasha Denona. So I would check those out if you're really trying to go between. I feel like I have more thoughts in those videos. So check those out. But again, it could be a good time to get this. You can save some money on it because both of these palettes are quite expensive. The other kind of eyeshadow palette that I wanted to suggest are eyeshadow products. I do love the Moon Dust shadows from Urban Decay. Again, we're talking about these sheer sparkly shadows. I just love them. Now for the holidays, Urban Decay came out with a Moon Dust quad. They have two of them actually. This one's in the shade Space Rider and this is the more, I guess, neutral or warm toned. I don't know. This one's more pinky. The other one has some silvers, a gold. It's just a little bit different. I only have this one and I think this retails for like $42. I think it's a pretty good deal considering the single eyeshadows are around $24 a piece. This also has one of my all time favorite ones and if I had to suggest one moon dust shadow to you, it would be Space Cowboy. I think it's stunning. I love using it as a topper shade. I used it as a topper shade on my look today. Not that it even needed it because the Natasha Denona was covering it with the sparkle, but I decided to just be even more extra. I think this is like a fun selection. There's something a little bit more pink in here. There's like this kind of bronzy color as well as more of like a warm toned white shade. Like think of Cosmic from them, which is another shade I really love from the Urban Decay Moon Dust shadows, but this one in here is a little bit more warm. So if you already have Space Cowboy, depending on how these shades are, maybe not worth it for you. Or if you're like, I don't know if I'm gonna use all those, which I kind of get. I really just, my number one is Space Cowboy. I also like Lithium if you need something a little bit deeper. It has a deeper base on it. That one's also really stunning. And then Cosmic, if you want just like a sheer wet topper, um, I think this one's great as well. So just in general, the Urban Decay Moon Dust shadows are amazing. There are three new shades in single form as well. I like these, but they all lean a little bit pink, a little bit warm. And then Wild Dipper, which is more of like a champagne. This one, it almost feels like the flakes in these are a little bit bigger. Like the new renditions, whether it's in the Moon Dust palette or in these new singles, they don't quite have the elegance that I feel like Space Cowboy does. I still love them, don't get me wrong, but there's just something so special about Space Cowboy. So I just feel like if you're trying to recreate the magic of Space Cowboy, I'm not sure if any of those shadows are gonna do it, whether it's in tone or in the sparkle finish of them, but they're all still really beautiful. You gotta like sparkle with these ones for sure, but I highly recommend them. I think they're beautiful and definitely worth the hype. I know they're very hot right now. I'm glad we finally got Moon Dust shadows. I feel like I've been wanting them to come out and expand the range for years, so I'm I'm so glad that they finally did that. All right, I wanna talk about a base product. I don't have many base products in here because I've just been trying so much and there's so few things I feel like I can just put my stamp of approval on 100%. But what I can say is these Natasha Denona High Glam concealers are amazing. They look so good on my skin and I would say my skin in the last couple months has just you know, it's been going through it. I don't know what's going on. I'm doing my best to stick to my skincare routines, but I feel like I'm oilier than ever. I feel like my pores are bigger than ever. I just feel, I don't wanna say uncomfortable in my skin, but it just feels like I'm in a transition period and it's been rough, I feel like. And so my go-to has been this concealer because it looks good no matter if I use a brush, if I use a sponge and it gives me, well, I can do sheer coverage if I want or like sheer coverage, or I can go pretty heavy coverage and get a full on glow glam look. So I just love that. It's a little bit of a thicker concealer and I feel like the thickness of that pigment and how it spreads out a little bit goes the longest way first off, but it also just gives me such even coverage and there's no patchiness. It's just so good. So freaking good. Um, I use N2 all over my face. Um, I've been doing that lately. I feel like also where my skin color is at lately, this is one of my best matches at the moment. And I feel like, again, it looks natural. My skin looks like skin, but it 
also is doing some coverage, okay? Like I'm covering up some redness. I'm definitely evening it out. I feel like it makes my skin look smoother. I think it holds up really well throughout the day. I have perioral dermatitis. So I have those dry spots around my mouth and I find a lot of products throughout the day. They just like cling to all the dry patches and I end up looking like I have a little, you know, skin foundation beard all around me. <laughs> it sucks actually. But this doesn't do that, which is so nice. So it's been a go-to for me. Absolutely love this. And like I said, I can use it with a foundation brush if I'm in a hurry or I can use a sponge, which is like my preferred usually application. Um, it just looks great. It looks so good. I also have this shade P1, which looks great under my eyes. This will probably be my shade as we go into cooler months and I lose my tan even more. So out of all the concealers, I've been trying the Tower 28, the House Labs, the Makeup Forever HD Skin, the Kosas Concealer. I've had that for a while. This is my favorite one at the moment. I really like it. And again, it leaves like me looking hydrated and not too dry, but I feel like it also stays on and doesn't make me more oily than I would be. So love this so much. And I'm basically using this concealer as a foundation. I want to mention some more lip products. This one is limited edition. I don't know if it's available. I saw that it was like sold out or only in store, but if you can find the Summer Fridays Trio set, this is unfortunately only available in the Trio currently, but it's the Lip Butter Balm, which just in general, I really love the Lip Butter Balms. I think they feel really nice. They're such a trendy product, but I do feel like out of a lot of the ones on the market, I do really like this one, but specifically iced coffee that came in that set. It smells so good. It's not probably gonna be for everyone. And I know it says iced coffee, but I get more like maple. I get more caramel from this than coffee. And I just feel like it's so holiday. The tone and tint on this is really nice. It has like a brown, but still really sheer color. It feels beautiful. It smells nice. It's fun to have a trendy item, I feel like. So if you're looking out and you saw these, I do really suggest that set. It's like $50 for three full size ones. So you get a range of colors there. I love the vanilla one. I love the pink one. I have the mint one, which that one tastes sweet. It's a little bit different than the other ones, but I still love it. And uh, I highly suggest just in general, the lip butter balms, very, very good. If you want a different lip liner suggestion than the Makeup Forever one, I really do like the Tower 28 one. Specifically, Work of Art is the color I like, which there are three of these and this is the middle one. It's just a nice tone. When it comes to lining my lips, I want something that's kind of neutral. I don't want it too warm. Maybe even leaning more mauve, more cool toned, looks better at least on my skin tone. And I need it to be a little bit darker than what I might put on my whole lip because I need that depth to give me definition on my lip line, especially because I like to round out the cupid's bow. And I find if I do that with a color that's too warm or too light, it starts looking really freaky in real life. You know what I mean? <laughs> like in a picture, it's gonna look stunning. In real life, it might look a little bizarre. So I find that this tone just works really nice. The depth of this tone works really nice for me. And I highly suggest it again. It's a nice pencil lip liner, which I love. These are pretty affordable. Really everything from Tower 28 is more affordable when it comes to the different brands at Sephora. So I was so so happy that this color worked for me. The lighter one's nice as well, but I do find this one's just my preferred one, that little bit darker. Really helps to give me nice definition and that nice lip line. So really love this lip liner. I have a few cheek products here. I wanted to talk about a highlighter and I went back and forth. I love my Bobbi Brown highlighters. I feel like I mentioned them a lot, but from this year, probably my favorite highlighter release, I think is the Charlotte Tilbury ones, which is kind of shocking. I feel like I ragged on these just a little bit because of the packaging. We all know Charlotte Tilbury isn't necessarily cheap and the pans kind of like move around in here because you can pop them out and you know the packaging is just a little bit lightweight it just didn't feel as substantial or as nice as I was hoping for the price point but when it comes to the actual powders that are in here this is pretty much my preferred highlighter at the moment just something that gives a really nice glow a nice sheen this is not overly sparkly at all so it doesn't have sparkle but it's also not metallic it's not leaving something uh, kind of tin man on your skin I find this to be really natural Natural yet elevated and still kind of glam. I love using this on my cheekbones, on my brow bone, on my inner corner. I just find them so nice. And you know, the Rare Beauty highlighters have come out this year. I don't love those as much. I don't love them on my actual skin. I've really tried to get down with them and I just can't make them work. So um, I suggest these. Like if you're wanting to know, and I love highlighter, these are the ones I'd go with. I just find them to be such a great everyday wearable yet still like highlighter heavy kind of highlighter. 
highlight. So I just think they're so beautiful. I have two shades, Champagne Glow, Moonlit Glow. I like both of them. It just kind of depends if I want something a little bit starker, a little bit brighter, I go with Moonlit. If I want something that kind of melts into my skin a little bit more and then just shows that sheen, I feel like Champagne's better for that. But both of these are great shades for me. And again, I just really like this formula and how it's delivering the shine. I'm pretty sure for this next product, you already know it. And it could have probably ended up in the Staples section, but I haven't repurchased it yet. <laughs> I probably will next year though. This is the Kosa's bronzer and this is the Sun Show bronzer in the shade Waves, which is the lightest shade. This is a glowy bronzer. It's baked, which I just love a baked product in general. Really like that type of formula. The dome on this is basically done. I love this for adding some warmth to my skin and a little bit of a sheen. I think that like tiny bit of shimmer that kind of runs through this product just adds a nice amount of life to my skin. I don't like a matte look. I don't like something too flat personally. I like a little dimension, especially in real life. Sometimes doing stuff for camera is a little bit different. <laughs> Sometimes the glow or the dimension can look a little freaky on camera with all the lights, but in real life, this looks so good. I love the way that this looks. I use a big fluffy brush and really hit the perimeters of my face. And I also hit a little bit on my nose. I love the sheen this gives. This mixed even just with the sunscreen from Super Goop as well as maybe a little concealer on my eyes. What a beautiful look. Like truly just a sun-kissed easy look for me. So highly suggest this if you want like a low key glowy bronzer. You gotta want the glow. If you like a matte bronzer, it might not be the one for you, but I don't find this to be overly highlighted or overly sheeny and I don't find that it like emphasizes any texture on my skin so so glad they re-released this one all right last for cheeks another blush I wanted to recommend this one's from Dior I know the pink one and the coral one get a lot of love and those don't really work for me but when they came out with some new colors this year I was intrigued by the cherry I was a little scared initially because this is pretty bright and on my skin tone this can be a little bit of a scary proposition but I was hoping that with this formula considering the pink one and the orange one, it would be nice and buildable and give me some room to play so I didn't get too much product at once. And that's exactly how it is. This is so beautiful. When I want that extra little pop to my cheeks, when I want that extra little bit of life, this is so beautiful. I love using like a big fluffy brush. I'll tap it in, tap some even on the back of my hand. Again, I just want the most control I can. I also have a short showing this if you want to check it out, but putting this on my cheeks at the end, just adding that little extra punch of color really livens up my look, livens up my face. And this red color, although it can look a little intimidating, I really find adds this mm, je ne sais quoi, if you will, to my look and really breathes, again, some life into my skin. I've loved it for summer, but I can see myself also wearing this into the fall and winter months when I want my skin to have a little bit of that pop, maybe a little bit of a windswept look. So I really do suggest this one. It really doesn't swatch that pretty, to be honest, but I feel like this formula on brushes on actual skin in real life application looks so good and I like this one even more than the rosewood color that I picked up so this is the one I've actually been using and I never really thought I'd be so into a red blush but this one really makes it approachable and easy and gives me that perfect amount of color but you can build it up if you really want more pigment also all right last couple of things I have some cream shadows I wanted to show you cream shadows for me have been all the right I've loved all my cream shadow sticks all the cream shadow offerings like I love it and for the shadow stick I'm going to mention in here I had many I could have but I decided to go with the Sephora brand one because Sephora brand will be 30% off during the sale I haven't tried a ton of Sephora brand stuff that I just absolutely love but this I do like the formula but really I love the color as well I love a taupey minky shade and this one's literally perfect it's so pretty this is the shadow stick in the shade taupe imagine that it's like a beautiful taupey color it's metallic how I like to apply this I'll usually do like one uh, layer and I usually do one eye each just because this does lock down and it just gives me the most time to play but I'll apply this on my lid blend it all out get a nice even layer down and then if I'm just using this I'll go back in and apply another layer and then I already have a little bit of a base blended out on my lid so it's really easy to just kind of tap out the outside edges and leave the more um, pigmented part on my actual lid to show the shine you can also blend out with a nice dense brush as well well, but I also love using shadow sticks for under any type of eye look So I'm really using these like every single day. They just help amp up an eye look I feel like they make powder shadows look even more even on my lids and just give some more longevity to my eye looks throughout the day So really love this color specifically
specifically if you're looking for a minky taupe and again you get more of a discount on this brand specifically since it's Sephora brand and then last I have the Colfi cream eyeshadows I did want to shout these out again I'm pretty sure I mentioned these during the spring sale but I still love specifically the three colors I really love is Chamak Chalo which is so Pretty, look at this. Oh, I love using this on my inner corner. I love using this as a wash of color on my lids. It looks so good. And I know it's kind of a scary color, but chartreuse's, I just feel like with a neutral look, you pop this, it's stunning, right? Like if you want a colorful look, you pop this, stunning. And this one specifically, I really like actually the formula on this because the finish on these is a little bit different between all of them. This one has more of a almost satin type of finish on it. So it doesn't have like glitter particles in it. And I find that looks just really Really beautiful as a wash all over the lid or again I'll even put this on the inner corner I found that this one as well as the bronze brocade shade have dried out just a little bit they're still super wearable and actually in some ways a little bit easier to use because they're not as moussey in there not as wet so love this one this is bronze brocade again it has dried out just a little bit but not a ton like it's not unwearable it's just that it's not quite as creamy moussey but I find it's almost easier to use that way because I can get a more even application since it's not as wet on this one this is like a warm bronze but it has silver bigger particles in it as well as some that look a little bit almost pink to it very very beautiful and with those shadows you can kind of do something sheer or build them up to full opacity if you want that to be the full look and I love that they have some versatility there my Sitara sparkles is still more moussey in here so this is more like the texture that those all came in and this is also another stunning one it has like a pink maroon base this one has probably the the most sparkle throughout the bronze one is like metallic with sparkles going through it this one is like sparkles all over it's so pretty with that kind of maroon base it kind of turns a little orange on the edges and it has like a silver kind of cool sheen to it so love those colors specifically there's also a blue there's also a deeper kind of maroon but I think these are really fun shadows if you like playing with cream and then you guys know my love of chartreuse and I feel like this is such a fun pop of color to find at Sephora and very unique in color at Sephora all right well I think we've made it to the products I don't suggest these are the things I don't think you should buy. I think you should skip these. Don't spend your money on them. Don't waste your money on them. Sorry. I mean, product works differently for everyone, but these I've just not had the best luck with, or I'm not completely satisfied with. All right, starting off, you guys know I'm pretty much a glow recipe stan, but I have not had any luck with these strawberry BHA pore smooth blur drops. I don't find that they blur my pores. I don't feel like it blurs my skin. I don't think that it keeps my oils at bay. I don't really know what it's doing. I mean, I don't hate it. In that it feels fine on my face but when it comes to what I was hoping this would do based off of the name I was really hoping it would like fill in my pores and it would smooth my skin and it would control my oil and it'd be the more natural slash like mattifying product but no matter if I use a lot of this a little of this I can't make it work and I just prefer to use the dew drops <laughs> like I feel like my skin looks better with the dew drops than when it, I use this which seems counterintuitive um, considering they're supposed to do like kind of opposite things and this is more the result I want, but that's what ends up happening. So I just feel like this isn't worth it. I just wouldn't do it. Um, there's so many other amazing glow recipe products that you guys know I love and I didn't get on with this, so. I wouldn't get that one. I, at this point, should realize like maybe Kosas isn't for me. <laughs> maybe it's not for me, I don't know. These are both glowy products from Kosas. So first we have the Glow IV. This came out earlier this year and this is kind of this tinted, glowy base product. You know, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Style-esque thing okay right like you could use it under stuff as a highlighter as a base like mm, you know what I'm talking about this though has really big flecks of sparkle in here so it leaves almost like chunks of sparkle it is not elegant it is not flattering I don't find anyway it just isn't it <laughs> I really wish that they had a finer shimmer particle in here, something that really gave a lit from within kind of glow on the skin, something that was radiant and not sparkly. And I can get down with sparkle a lot of ways, but this isn't even like a beautiful highlighter sparkle. This is like, again, flex. Like you can almost see the mica flakes or whatever they use in here. So um, definitely don't suggest this product. And then later in the year, they came out with the Dream Beam. Um, this is the Comfy Smooth Sunscreen. And this also has a shimmer to it. it 
it is kind of pink in tone and it has almost like a floral scent. I do like the way the shimmer looks in here. Like I wish the IV had the shimmer look of this, but this is so, like this is only gonna work for really dry skin. So if you don't have dry skin I and you're oily, I don't think you should go for this because this just makes me look so greasy. And I feel like it's trying to do something like the Super Goop one, but to get the right amount of sunscreen on my skin, I just feel so greasy, such a mess. It kind of pills a little on me. So I really have to let this sit and sink into my skin before I can even attempt to really put something on it. And I just don't have time for that. And I also just find, again, I'm just getting so oily throughout the day. Like this just does not work for me. I can see this working for some people, but you have to like facial oils. Like this almost feels like a glowy sunscreen oil. You get maybe a little bit of a glowy perfected look because of the shimmer in here, but not really coverage. I just don't, I really don't like it. I don't even really like the smell of this and it's so cute. Look how cute this fucking product is, so cute. But no, the insides of it do not work. They don't work for me, so I don't suggest that. And you know what I'm really hoping Kosas gives us? Where are those baked blushes, huh? Where are the baked blushes? We saw sneak peeks of this like a year ago, it feels like at this point. That's what I really wanted this year. That's what I really wanted, those baked blushes, guys. Where are they at? <laughs> Hopefully those come out soon. All right, a holiday release. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe this will work for you guys, but for $75, I personally don't suggest the Beautyverse palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I just think you should go with a quad. I think you should go with even, okay, the mattes in here are good. I really love the mattes, but there's only four of them in here. And she does have this matte formula in a little palette. So if you really want this silky smooth really blendable matte formula, it almost has a sheen to it It's not like flat flat matte So I find it really flattering and really easy to blend if you like that then maybe try that palette I think that could be great And then if you have something like one of the moon dust shadows, you can get the sparkle I just don't prefer the way that these shimmer shadows look on my eyes It's hard to get the pigment over onto my eyes from my fingers I find the particles a little bit heavy and so I get a lot of fallout. They don't really stick throughout the day they're very sheer which I know sheer toppers are like that But the best way to apply these is definitely with a glitter glue So you can you know actually get it to stay and be on your eyes and actually be able to see it I just don't prefer them. There are so many kind of sparkly toppers again the ones in the Natasha Denona the ones in the makeup by Mario There's some in that Patrick Ta palette that came out the moon dust shadows I prefer all of those more than the ones in here So it really makes this not the best purchase for me personally. I'd love to know your thoughts Did you get on with this because I'm you know I'm sure there are people who love it, but I just personally don't recommend it, especially again for that price. I think you're better off getting a single. And I mean, we're not even mentioning other things that aren't at Sephora, like indie brands and other shimmery shadows like you can get from K-Beauty brands. So yeah, not my favorite holiday release, unfortunately, because I was so excited for this one. Another newer release from Glossier. I don't like this foundation. I'm so upset about it because I really thought I would. This is the stretch foundation. And I just don't feel like, you know, for this to be a counterpart to the stretch concealer, I really like that and it's dewy and it's a little bit thicker and I just feel like this is thin, like thinner than I thought it was gonna be in texture. It leaves me quite matte, which I find weird. Like it doesn't leave me dewy in the way that I thought. Um, I don't like the way that this wears over time. I got the wrong color, so that's something. Um, and I got the shade Very Light 3, which feels like, how is Very Light 3 too light for me? That feels really weird because I, I don't know, that's just not usually what happens. So I feel like the shade range might run a little bit light or skew that way, or I don't know, that's just how it works. So if you wanna try this, I think you should try to get a sample of it. Just make sure it works for you. Just definitely not what I was expecting or thinking I was gonna get. And I'm kind of realizing that, kind of like the Natasha Denona concealer, those thicker foundations and thicker base products for me that can sheer out nicely, again, that are a good formula, those tend to just work better and they just even out better on my skin since I do have discoloration and redness and all that. So. I just don't suggest this, unfortunately. I really wanted that one to work too. I wanted all this stuff to work. Another thing, I hate to break your guys' hearts because another cutie little product and I wanted to love it. This is the Jisoo Honey Infused Lip Oil. Seen this all over Instagram and it's cute as hell. It's so cute. It's quality. I mean, this is a glass lip gloss container or lip oil, but this lip oil, first off, smells gross. It smells like oil. It smells like cooking oil. Khaki is so right about that. It just doesn't smell um, good. So there's that. Also, this oil is very yellow. <laughs> it's very, very yellow. And so I find that that definitely comes 
comes through in the lip product and I wish that it was just clear so you know I could wear it on its own or I could wear it with other things I just don't like how tinted yellow this is it does feel very nice I love the way it feels on my lips I do feel like it conditioned it's not too thin it's not too thick it's nice but um, all the other reasons I just don't enjoy using this for how cute it is and I just feel like for how expensive it is all that mm -mm. No, like that's like Neosporin, like liquid Neosporin, no. Okay, some shadow sticks I haven't gotten on with yet. I'm still trying, but I would hold off on getting these if you were interested in them from Freck, only because these are like water-based, I wanna say. Um, so they have some pretty colors. This one here is Deep Dive. And then I also ordered, I ordered a different color and then Sephora sent me the wrong shade. So then I contacted them and they were like, okay, we'll send out the shade you actually ordered. And when they sent me that, they sent me the same wrong shade. I was like, <laughs> what's going on? It must be in the wrong bucket and I'm just getting sent the same, what is this, Wetlands shadow when I wanted, I think it's called Party something. Anyway, really pretty colors. We're gonna let them set here, really dry down how they should, I feel like. But I find that these don't actually dry down, so they just kind of wash away very easily. And it's just so easy to find, like the Milani ones at a great price point. If you're gonna spend money, I love the Bobbi Brown ones, I love the Laura Mercier ones. I even think the Fenty ones have been pretty nice. Like there are so many shadow sticks on the market and I just don't, I don't get these ones. I don't understand them. While these dry, let me talk about the other two products I don't suggest. This year Bumble and Mumble came out with some shampoos. I thought I was getting a shampoo and conditioner. No, <laughs> I ordered two shampoos. This is the Seaweed Daily Cleanser. It's it's supposed to have lightweight moisture for fine and medium hair. This one is the Gentle Refresher. I don't even understand why they came out with two. I don't understand, but I'm almost done with this, if not basically done, and this one also. I would not repurchase these. I do not feel like they did anything. I feel like they made me more greasy. They didn't like clean my hair. They didn't make it shinier. They didn't do shit, dude. They just kind of sucked. Like I almost gave up on them so many times that I was like, no, these are so expensive. So I just washed my hair like three times just to really get everything out of my hair and at least feel kind of clean. But again, just felt no results, like just a waste of money. So I don't like these. And if you have fine thin hair and you thought these might be a miracle worker or do something for you, no. They, they don't. It's supposed to help your scalp and stuff, but mm, I don't think so, I don't think so. Last thing I don't suggest, and if you want proof, go check out my video showing this calendar in all of its glory, but really I don't suggest any of the Sephora advent calendars, especially the Sephora brand ones. I just don't think they're worth the money, you guys. I really don't, even at 30% off if they do it, I just don't think they're worth it personally, okay? Again, check out the video if you want to see, but uh, for the prices that they're charging for Sephora brand stuff, I just think there are so many other advent calendars on the market. If you're wanting that surprise, I think pay a little bit more for a really extravagant one. I know it can be expensive, but if you want good items in it, that's probably the best way. Or if you're just looking for fun, like pick out your products individually, wrap them up, surprise someone. I just don't think these calendars are the way to go. I really really don't, that it was not good. And that thing cost $50, okay? $50 for that calendar and I just felt like it was not worth it, it was kind of trash. All right, here we are with the shadow sticks and I feel like that's plenty of time to really dry down and we're really not seeing that, we're really not. And if I take even the tiniest bit of water to this, um, it'll just completely remove. So, I mean, in some ways, I guess it's nice for a removal. Some shadow sticks, you know, lock down and they'll survive the apocalypse on your skin. But I just am like, these just don't seem to have the longevity to me, you know? Um, and I just don't, I don't suggest these shadow sticks. I'm still figuring them out, but if you have a way you like these, there's a reason that this formula works because it is very different than other shadow sticks on the market. Let me know, because I'm interested to figure it out and like kind of unlock it, but all the ways I've tried to use it, I just don't feel like they're working for me. And it makes me so sad because I feel like I'm always interested in freck releases and they just like never actually work for me. All right, we're into the gifting and set portion of this video. So I want to talk about some of those sets that are available that I think could make really great gifts or I think are really great value if you want to gift them to yourself it might be something to consider all right when it comes to the Sephora sets that they curate every year my favorite one for 2023 is the holiday sparkly clean beauty kit it retails for $42 it's a $124 value like when I think of this and I talked about this in that video 
this is 50 get this kit instead okay this has some full-size products in here it has some of the cool new brands you know the clean beauty brands are the ones that I feel like are most popular you're kind of seeing everywhere so in here there's six items four of them are full-size bestsellers from the brands you have things from say you have things from merit and Kosas you're getting a full-size lipstick from merit you're getting a mascara from rose ink you're getting one of the dew blushes from say in a full size there's the freck beauty cactus water in here that's a deluxe size from cali ray there's a plumping gloss in here in a full size and you're also getting a full size of the clear kosas air brow gel <laughs> whatever it is that's very popular it is clear instead of a tinted one which i'm looking at getting the tinted one which we'll get into but i just think this is such a great one to gift to gift to yourself if you want to try some of these brands there's a lot of fun stuff in here and i think it's already a great value and then when i'm thinking about you getting even more of a discount on it i really think it solidifies the value of this kit and i think it's a really great deal so that's number one next i already mentioned this but the makeup forever mini artist color pencil liner set this is 35 dollars. these are minis but again i think it's a great way to test out if you like this formula especially for the lip liner colors that are in here so you're getting the shades anywhere caffeine wherever walnut limitless brown and then there's also the black and the white in here so i feel like it has a lot of options you can use these again anywhere on the face not just the lips so if you need some eyeliners you want to use these around the face I don't know doing something creative I'm not really sure what you're doing but um, again I really love this pencil formula and I think it's a great kind of sampler to see which is your best shade for you if you want to buy in the full size all right next I want to mention really any of the mascara sets okay I'm gonna rattle off a few because I have a few here I was gifted but this one is the Tarte one it's $44 but think about getting that discount on it you're getting four full-size mascaras in here that's basically your year of mascara and then when you think of the discount for like ten dollars a tube or less i think that's great i think that's so amazing the man eater don't sleep on that one it's really great lights camera lashes i haven't used it in a while but i remember loving it and there's a couple other ones in here so um this one from tarte might be a good option there's one from benefit one of them is a mini it's the newest one the fan fest but the other ones are all full size so roller lash they are real and the bad girl bang i think this could be a great option there's also one on there from Fenty which is just a doubled up mascara there's a few of those and I feel like the Fenty one specifically is such a great deal it's two of the full-size mascaras for $26 when the original like full-size retails for 19 my mom specifically loves this mascara and so um, I feel like that makes me go okay I know other people are gonna like this and again $26 plus your discount basically getting one whole one free buy one get one free on these price wise I think is really great and mascara specifically always feels like a good deal I mean sometimes you can get just free ones and samples but it's a product you know you're going to use like we almost all use mascara um, even if we're not doing eyeshadow or doing elaborate blush looks or highlighter or whatever else like I know for me anyway I use mascara all the time and you also need to replace those pretty often just to keep it sanitary keep it safe for your eyes and so I think that could be a great one there's also some Sephora sets where they do these mini mascaras so you get to try all of those and then you get a certificate to go in and get a full size of the one you like most which I think can be really fun it's a great gifting option also again for yourself but if you don't know what mascara someone's gonna like it can be pretty personal what mascaras we all like we have different lashes some of us have more curl or less curl than others some of us have thicker hairs than others so I feel like it's kind of nice to be able to gift these mascara kits and someone can really find the best mascara out of the set for them and then go redeem for the one they want and the one they have for the holidays is called the holiday lash sash this is $28 and again you're getting five mascara samples in here and then you get to go redeem for the full size so I think that can be a really great deal already and then with the discount even better of course I have to mention the summer Fridays lip butter sets because I really like those products so I just love them I buy them full size I buy them at full price so I feel like getting them in a set and saving money that way is great I just think you should try them out they have two different sets the one that I mentioned earlier with the iced coffee which I highly recommend because I love that flavor that one's $49 and then they also have a mini one if you want just to try them and you don't care about having the full size or anything like that these are all permanent colors 
colors and they're all in minis and it's $25 for four of those. So I think both of those are really great options. I also really like the Sol de Janeiro mist set. The Sol de Janeiro mists are all over social media. I think these would be so great to give to nieces or anyone that, you know, you think could enjoy <laughs> a body mist. And I like the scents on them so much and I feel like it's pretty affordable. $34 plus the discount. There's four of them at one ounce each and you could even split them up if you wanted to. I am thinking about getting this set myself. So I really love that set from Sol de Janeiro. I also love the Rare Beauty Blush and Highlighter Mini set. This is also $34 and these products specifically like the blush minis, the highlighter minis are gonna last you forever. You don't need a lot of that product. So I feel like sometimes that's even a better deal getting more variety than product because most of us aren't gonna go through a full size of the Rare Beauty liquid blushes. So I think that could be one to definitely check out. There is a perfume sampler set on Sephora right now as well. And this is a really good one, I think specifically for gifting because similar to mascara, we all have different preferences when it comes to perfume, what we like, florals, woody notes, unisex stuff, all of that. And I feel like giving someone a perfume is such a nice gift, truly. Like, you know, you create memories around it. It's a very memorable, I feel like, gift. So um, giving the sampler set, you get kind of the best of both worlds. If you don't know what scent they want, you can gift them that and then they get to try those samples. They get that certificate again to go in and be able to shop and pick out their favorite of the perfume in there. It's $85. I feel like especially with the discount, it's pretty good. And depending on which one they get, you know, some of them are about the same price as it would be for the one ounce or whatever size they can redeem for. But there are some other ones in there that really are great value. Like you're really saving some money. So it's up to them though. Obviously that would be if you're gifting. If you're buying it for yourself, I think really looking at what's in there and making sure you at least have a few safe buys in there, like a safe redemption uh, scent in there, uh, just in case you don't like anything else. But um, with that discount, I really think that's upping the value of those. And I think they're just great gifts. Last couple of things for gifts. I really like this Caudalie hand set. It has three uh, hand creams in there. I just love the Caudalie hand cream. It has the original nail and hand cream set. It has the Te Devon scent, which I really like. And it also has like a rose one. Um, they're minis. They're easy to travel in your purse. And I feel like you could break that set up. And it's also only $16. So I feel like it's nice and affordable as well. And then with the discount, even more affordable. And then the last, it's not a set. It's not anything like that. It's not a discount. But if you're looking to gift someone something, I really feel like if they're a beauty girl or they watch people online or, you know, maybe they're a little bit younger. They don't even have to be younger. But I just suggest the Dior lip oil, okay? <laughs> there are dupes of this out there. But I feel like if you're going to gift someone something, I know so many people would love to get a Dior product, to get the popular Dior product. Like, I just think it's a really nice gift. I know if I was younger and one of my aunts or, you know, my mom or someone gifted me the Dior lip oil that I've been seeing all over social media, I would be like, oh my gosh, how could you? I can't believe it. You know, I would be just so elated. I would feel so good and so, I just think this would be a really great, just one off, one item gift to give to someone. This is the 01 pink shade, but there are other shades if you don't think this is the right one for someone. I don't know, this is like the one I think would be a really great one off gift. And because this video isn't long enough, let me give you my wish list. What I'm thinking about purchasing, I'd love to know what you wanna see me review, if there's anything you want me to pick up so I can tell you what I think about it or you think I just like cause you love it, you wanna recommend it to me, let me know down below because I'm probably gonna do a little bit of damage I've been saving up for this sale. I've <laughs> been, you know, keeping my eye on some things. First off for mascara, I wanna get the Gucci L'Obscure lengthening mascara. I had a sample of this um, and I really enjoyed it. I loved every second of it. Used it till it was bone freaking dry. So I wanna get the full size $36 for this mascara, but I'm hoping it's just as good as a mini. Sometimes you get, you know, bamboozled and the mini somehow works better than the full size. So hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully I love this full size, but I'm definitely getting that mascara. For a highlighter and a bougie little moment, I wanna get this Tom Ford one. This is the Soleil Neige Glow Highlighter. I wanna get the rose. Iris say? I don't know if that's how you say it. The rose gold one. There's also a golden color, but I think the rose one's gonna look a little bit better on me. So I think I'm gonna pick that up. It might have a bit of a pink hue to it. We'll see, but that's on my list. It looks really nice. <laughs> a set that I'm really interested in is from Pharmacy. This one just seems so fun, even though it's like a useful product. It's the Tea Harvest Green Clean Trio. It has some limited edition flavors or scents in it. Those are warm vanilla chai, wild raspberry green tea, and chamomile 
caramel rose latte so I want to get those I've been using the strawberry one and really enjoying it so that's on my list although it's not really online I have to go into a store so I might have to figure out how I'm gonna get that one for an eyeshadow palette I tend to pick up like an eyeshadow palette but the one that's calling to me which is kind of weird and I kind of just want to see it to fruition see if it's good from lawless it's the new the dreamy dozen eyeshadow palette it seems like in a similar vein to the Natasha Denona and the makeup by Mario one but those are the shades I've been gravitating to so it's mostly matte I know mostly matte and then it has three shimmer shades and I just want to try this thing I want to see if I get some use out of it I don't know it's calling to me so I think that's the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna pick up I also was interested in this cool vibes one from Violet Voss I know weird but I just love the cool tones right now um, and I especially like the cool tones that have that little bit of something maybe a little bit warm to it or neutral to it so it doesn't look too grayscale on me so those are definitely on my list I mentioned I had the Kosa airbrow tinted uh, volumizing eyebrow gel on my list as well I think I'm gonna pick up the shade taupe I use a colored brow gel because my eyebrows are blonde so I've heard so many great things about this I had a sample at one point but I think I had the wrong color because it was just like a gift with purchase type thing so I'm gonna give that a go hopefully Kosas does not steer me wrong <laughs> as for like foundations I have two foundations that I'm looking into or base products the Patrick Ta major skin cream foundation or creme foundation I've heard good and bad things about this and it just looks so simple it's the type of product I want to work for me so bad because I just put my brush in it slap it on set it with the powder that's even in there that sounds amazing and I really want it to work so I just need to like test it for myself my skin is so finicky I feel like products that work for other people don't work for me products that work for me might not work for other people so I want to try that out and I also want to try out the new Fenty stick blur tint thing you know <laughs> the stick foundation version of the drops the blur drops or tint drops so I have that on my list to try I'd love to know any of your thoughts on those it's kind of hard to figure out what shade I'm gonna be because the lightest one seems a little too light but then I'm scared number two is gonna be a little too dark there's a new lip plumper from Cali Ray that I'm interested in it just looks so pretty and I've been enjoying a little bit of a plumping sensation to my lip glosses so I want to try that one it looks kind of iridescent but not in a way that's actually gonna like show up on the lips too much it's not gonna actually make them look blue or purple or pink or something so I want to try that one out a Nikki LaRose influence I want to get the Dior highlighter in pearlescent glow this is like a, a white powder which kind of scared me and I have tried this highlighter before but it was too dark for me so I know the white one won't be but I was scared it was gonna look chalky but on her it looks so beautiful and just ethereal and like kind of sparkly and I kind of like that look so I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna try the Dior forever couture luminous highlighter powder oh my gosh in shade number 03 pearlescent glow and see how that looks I really hope it works out for me all right and last I want to try the rose ink concealer because this thing is a little bit thicker you know I'm hoping that it'll work for me as opposed to some of the thinner concealers that are out there I mean I like them I like the tower 28 serum concealer I've been enjoying it but I just feel like hmm maybe this is the one for me maybe this will really work out so I've heard lots of good things about it I think I'm gonna pick one of those up and really see how it compares to all the other concealers I've been trying because it feels like it's been a lot lately but oh my gosh that is my ultimate Sephora sale guide I hope you guys enjoyed I hope that my recommendations are helpful for you guys or maybe gave you some clarity on what I was thinking about these products if they were maybe on your list or in your periphery let me know what you've had your eye on what you think you're gonna pick up and again if you have any recommendations for me I would love to know I also want to point out I should have probably pointed this out earlier but I do have a video on my perfume channel on my fragrance channel all about my top fragrance picks for the sale so definitely go check that out if you're looking for some fragrances because it can be a great time to save some money on those really expensive purchases because even 10 15 or 20 percent can add up when it's expensive and past the hundred dollar mark but anyway thanks so much for being here uh thanks so much for watching and other than that i will see you in the next one bye guys